Welcome to the channel, friends. So today's video is going to be covering the Lux Pro programmable thermostat. This is the PSP 511LC model. This also works for the 511C. Now we're going to be covering the topic of the lockout screen, how to lock and unlock the device. So this is established very easily. So if you want to lock your device, you'd simply go ahead and hit the next button here three times and then hit hold once. So one, two, three, and four on that. So now you see the actual lock icon show up on the screen. Now this is going to prevent anybody from making changes on here. Um, there are ways around it. So uh, it's good to know what those are. So if you come across this and you cannot figure out um, how to unlock this, uh, by using the same method that you just did to lock it. So the same method is used to unlock the device. So one, two, three, and then fourth is going to be the hold. So that unlocks it. Very simple. So let's go back into a lock state. So that was three clicks of the next button and one click of the hold button. And that's what it takes to lock the device. Now, there's another way. If you forget that sequence and... You need to still uh, unlock this device. You basically have to do a hardware reset. So come in the back side of the thermostat. You got this button here. You're going to go ahead and press that. So let's just make sure, yeah, we have a lock icon there. By doing this, you're going to reset the device. So you're going to have to reset uh, some of the settings. So be careful um, what you're doing here because you might reset some things that um, are already um, saved in the device. But anyways, this will go ahead and reset that lock. So we're going to go ahead and click that. And as you can see, it went to reset mode. So this is a, essentially what happens when you first plug in the batteries. When you have a brand new device, you're going to basically lose your time and everything. So you, you're basically in a brand new state here. You're going to have to reconfigure the device. So I recommend not doing this method um, and try to remember or look in the manual or watch this video to figure out the actual lock and unlock sequence. So I'm just going to switch this from run to set time. You're going to set your time and then go back to the run mode and you're all set to go. All right, so that there is the lock and unlock procedure. I also have videos covering uh, manual override, the setup of this device, as well as full programming and factory reset, all individual videos for you guys to watch and understand. It's a very simple device, but it does take some um, programming and understanding of how things need to be set up to use properly. But I appreciate you guys watching the video. And um, if you have any questions or comments, please place them right down below. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.